I had seen Gene Roddenberry's Earth Final Conflict from the beginning when it first aired, and interestingly, I looked up to Jonathan Doors as a great leader, just like Captain Picard from the Star Trek The Next Generation. Years later in 2005, I bought the DVD box sets for seasons 3 through 5 of Gene Roddenberry's Earth Final Conflict, because those were all that were available at the time. I started re-watching it from season 3. As I began watching the show from season 3, I saw how true to life and realistic Earth Final Conflict was compared to shows like Star Trek The Next Generation which I had been watching for a while because it was the only science fiction they had on television. I had recently begun to realize that Star Trek The Next Generation reasoning had completely failed me, and that believing America to be a democracy had also failed me. In fact I had already begun to realize that America was a corrupt society run by a corrupt elite. So when I found Earth Final Conflict Season 3 and began watching it, I instantly knew that I had found the show that was more true to life than anything else I had ever watched. In Earth Final Conflict, the alien Talons were exactly the same as America's corrupt wealthy elite. Just as America's wealthy elite were lying and had a secret agenda, so too were the Talons in Earth Final Conflict lying, and so too did they have a secret agenda. And just as America's wealthy elite had usurped control of American society, so too had the Talons in Earth Final Conflict usurped control of American society. Furthermore, we saw how American society had become a police state, just like in real life. Watching Earth Final Conflict, the brainwashing of school, Star Trek The Next Generation, and the mass media, melted away almost instantly. I no longer delusionally thought that America was a democracy, and I realized the truth that it is a fascist police state controlled by the corrupt elite, just like an Earth Final Conflict. Then, over the next year, I watched Earth Final Conflict seasons 3 and 4 in particular, over and over again. I became extremely euphoric. In fact, I became so extremely euphoric that I began to destabilize and within two years I was sent to prison for a time. So what went wrong? The answer is that Earth Final Conflict is 100% true to life in showing that America is a fascist state run by the corrupt lying wealthy elite. However, Earth Final Conflict also gave me much false hope that it was possible to fight America's fascist authorities. This false hope is probably what caused my intense euphoria. Well I now know that in reality, it is either impossible to fight America's fascist authorities, or it is far more difficult than suggested in Earth Final Conflict Seasons 3 and 4. So what is the verdict? Well, I will say that Earth Final Conflict is like a completely different show in Seasons 3 and 4 from Seasons 1 and 2. Earth Final Conflict is very good if you want to quickly deprogram yourself of the lies in Star Trek The Next Generation. However, beware of any false hope that Earth Final Conflict offers that it is possible to fight America's corrupt fascist authorities and win. In reality, if you fight America's fascist authorities directly, physically, or with any form of violence, you are almost 100% likely to be caught and punished.